It's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. Socrates the horse thief. I can almost hear the stories they'll tell. Aristophanes will love this. Unfortunately, those stories would be entirely fabricated. Although, I would like to see if you believe the story should still be told once you know the truth. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. Can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. Let's go. escape. The one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystios judge me. Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. 
If I had the drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. Did you steal the horse to use it, or sell it? I have a family to feed, and this horse will help me on the farm. Plus, I have no other way of traveling right now. There's no other option? Not that I could think of. Trust me, I feel shame for what I did. Any reason you picked this specific horse? It was the easiest one to take. Other than that, not really. Though, I did make sure it wasn't his best horse. A courteous thief. I didn't steal it for fun. I did it because I had no other choice. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? Have you decided what should be done? It doesn't matter why he stole the horse. It belongs to someone else. You surprise me yet again. I truly believed you would choose the other side. Because I am a mystius? Of course. Yet, when it comes to someone else, you decide a crime deserves a consequence, no matter the reason. A safe choice, although I can think of times when it may not be right. The real question is whether my decision matters at all, or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. Es 
By the gods, is that you? By the gods, Itor, is that you? You look... <laughs> you look old, my friend. When was the last time I saw you? Kefalonia. That job for Marcos. Remember, we ended up back to back, surrounded by angry pirates. Though, as I recall, I had your back. Polish your memories like you would your armor, and they'll make much better tales. I'd heard rumors you'd settled down in Attica. Always thought you'd die with a blade in your hand, not open up a shop. The blade I always thought I'd take with me is missing. I could use your help, if you're willing to assist an old friend. You mean Arby? You love that blade. Some Malacca's commander came in here demanding I fix his fucking twig. When I couldn't, he said I was obligated to provide a new one. And the one he wanted was hanging on my wall. I'll get Arpi back for you. Don't do anything stupid. I just want her back. Hey, you know me. That's why I'm afraid. Tell me where to find the commander. He's here, in Attica, at Fort Filey. Why go to so much trouble for an old sword? She's the only thing I loved that never left. And how will I know her when I see her? 
How could you forget a hilt of gold with a curling serpent moving up the blade? Always sharp, no matter what. And when you swung her well, she'd sing a siren song of death. Kept me alive through many a scrape. That I do remember. I should be going. Remember, we don't want trouble. Just sneak in and take it. You're still good at that, right? I won't lower myself to answer that. This must be Fort Kfaili. If Victor's right, I'll find the sword inside. As fine a blade as ever I've seen. What is from the smith I heard him say? <laughs> yeah, the smith didn't make it, though. He can knock a dent out all right. But that sword, that's real craftsmanship. Be all right. No mistaking this blade. Go now.
glad you're back safely. Did you get my RP? Yes, I found RP. Good, good. And what of that Malacca's commander? And what of him? Ah, no matter. You have my sword. That's what's important. The sword wasn't stolen from you, was it? You used me. Truth be told, I never said it was stolen. You... Ah, a crime of omission only, my friend. You know how important Arby is to me. I had no money. Couldn't fight anymore. I would have died without a drachmi by the side of the road. Selling Arby enabled me to start my business. You wouldn't begrudge a man a second chance, would you? No. But I don't like being lied to. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Itor, you had my back and taught me so much on Kefalonia. Don't worry about the drachmi you promised. Consider the favor repaid. You've grown into a fine woman, Cassandra. A better mercenary, with both a strong arm and a kind heart, would be hard to find. Sometimes too kind. Just don't tell anyone. Can't have people thinking I'm weak. No, of course. A Mistyos reputation is everything. Even if I don't swing her anymore, I'm glad to have RP back. Take care of yourself, Vitor. And try not to lose anything else. Vitor. Ah, my friend! I'm so glad you're here. I know that look. If you need a favor, just tell me. Well, yes. A small one. A mercenary and old friend of mine has gotten himself captured. What's this man to you, really? How could you say that? It wouldn't be the first time you led me astray. By the gods, this man... We should help out a brother. Please, will you rescue him for me? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, my friend. Once you rescue him, take him to the beach. I've left a boat there for him to escape. Tell me where to look for him. He's in a military camp, just north of here. Why are you so worried about a mercenary? He's a friend. Didn't I do the same for you? Remember that trouble you and Marcos got into? Yes, yes, you're right. If we're not going to look out for each other, who will? Time to go get your friend. Off we go now.
Let's hope no one notices me here. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. You! Hello, Emilko. Long time. Itor, what's going on? Why are you here? Of course. He didn't tell you, did he? You've been used, my friend. Shut up! I'm not here to hear you talk. I'm here to see you die. You lied to me again! This isn't how friendships work, Itor! Listen, please. I'm sorry, but you don't know what this man did to me. That's fucking rich, Hitor. Why don't you tell her the truth? Shut up, murderer. What's going on? Trust me, this man needs to die. I gave you a contract to bring him to me. Do not interfere, and I will reward you well. I got him out as you asked, so why kill him now? I could have dealt with him if that's what you wanted. Because I had to see him. Why? Because he killed the love of my life. We both shared guilt in that. But she was my wife! Your wife? She wouldn't have died if... What? If I hadn't caught you? If you hadn't attacked me? If she hadn't tried to stop us? If our blades hadn't struck her down? Who's to blame here? Despite what either of you did, this won't bring her back. It will make me feel better. And that's all that's important to you in the end, isn't it? Easing your conscience. You think killing him would make you feel better? I guarantee it won't. And it sounds like she wouldn't have wanted either of you to get hurt. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Fuck your sorry. You destroyed my life that night. But I agree with your friend. Let's just pray we never see each other again. Why, you? Let him go. You made the right choice here. Sometimes we cannot make up for the mistakes of our past. I'm just glad all those years with me didn't rub off on you. Sometimes we need to move on from the past, like I did from Kefalonia. You have a chance to make a new life. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> 